There's a lot of videos online talking about how amazing Airtable is, and I love Airtable, but I think the gap between spreadsheets and Airtable has kind of closed in quite a bit in the past couple years or so. And so this video is gonna be, in my opinion, the number one factor you should consider if you're thinking about going from Excel slash spreadsheets to Airtable. So let's get right into it. Here I have a sample client build here. This is for a food container company, but it's just a really simple example. They make actual food containers. So in the item table here, I have different types of items that they're actually producing. And in the customer table, I have the customers for the actual item um, that is being produced. If you're watching this video, you probably don't fully understand Airtable. So I'm gonna switch to spreadsheets. Um, I'm gonna have the exact same data here. So nothing has changed between this tab here of the item table and this tab here and the customer tab here, the customer table, and the customer table here. So, so far, we're all good. So now the key part here is that each item is associated to a customer, right? So in this case, the pizza box is associated with a uh, customer name, my name here. So if I go back here in this tab, the customer table, I have my name, and I have the item that's actually associated, which is the pizza box, which is, which is fine, right? This is where most people's spreadsheets are at. The problem happens when I switch this from pizza box to, let's say, Chinese takeout uh, paper box as an example here, right? So I switch this item type. So in this case, what I'm looking for, the item that I'm looking for is no longer the previous one. It is actually the Chinese takeout paper box. The problem here is that when I go to the customers table and look at the item that's associated with my name, this is not updated. And this is a problem because now what I need to do is copy this here and paste it here, which doesn't seem like much. But the problem is when you actually have a real business and you're running your business off of spreadsheets or running your operations off of spreadsheets, or if you just have a ton of records for that matter and a ton of tabs, this becomes very cumbersome very quickly. Um, another example is let's say my name, the customer's email switches from Jeet at Pizza Box to Jeet.Sangumnerker at PizzaBox.com. Right, like this table is fine, but what if I wanna see side by side for each item what the customer email is? This is no longer up to date. And so now I have to manually go in here, copy this and paste this, which again, doesn't seem like much, but it adds up pretty quickly. If you've got a spreadsheet nightmare, you've got tons of tabs everywhere, each tracking a different thing. And so now let's compare that to Airtable. If I go to Airtable here and go to the item table, um, let's switch this from pizza box to Chinese takeout paper box. So I'm gonna switch this item type here, I'm gonna click enter. And you're gonna notice uh, what's different about Airtable is that I can link the different tables together. So here, my name here is associated with this item here. So, and it's not like, it's not just pure name itself. It's an actual record to record link. So if I go to the customers table here, this record here is linked to this record here. And so what you're gonna notice is for my name, this has automatically switched to Chinese takeout paper box. And if you missed it here, I mean, I can just switch it to Chinese takeout box as an example here. And I go back to my customers table. This has also updated at the exact same time. Same thing with name. If I go from Jeet to Jeet.SangumNerker, I only have to do this once. And from here, when I go to the item table, it's gonna automatically update to the new email I give because the records themselves are linked, right? And in spreadsheets, you can't do this. There's no such thing as linking between different tabs. That is why when people say online Airtable is a relational database, you're relating different records together. And it's very powerful because if you have, you know, multiple tabs that are somewhat similar and you want to be able to link them together, you can't do that in a spreadsheet. You will have to do some kind of VLOOKUP function or, you know, do this manual copy pasting, but even VLOOKUP as you start to add more records, as you start to add more fields becomes cumbersome and, you know, can break down. So that is, in my opinion, the only thing that I consider to be the difference. Um, there's little stuff like, you know, Things like having tabs, um, you didn't have that in spreadsheets before or in Google Sheets. Now you have that. Um, you can actually even add attachments. That used to be like a big distinguishing factor for Airtable. You can add, you know, photos, PDFs, documents. You can also do that in spreadsheets as well, and you know, check boxes and things of that sort. And even dashboards, for that matter. You know, everybody online talks about how amazing the dashboards are in Airtable. I'm gonna make the argument, and if you haven't seen them before, you know, here's like a sample dashboard here. I'm gonna make the argument making dashboards and spreadsheets is actually way more detailed and way easier than Airtable because Airtable only limits you to bar graphs and you know line graphs and things of that sort. Whereas with spreadsheets, you can kind of like, we all know, we can get as detailed as we want. We can make as complex of graphs as we want of any kind. So hopefully this video is useful. If you are considering switching, think about whether you need to link the different tabs together. If you do, that is a green light for you to switch to Airtable right now. 
Um, if not, you might want to think about it. Do you really want to spend the time learning Airtable and having to kind of go through the learning process when Google Sheets gets the job done? Um, probably better than Airtable if you're only sticking to just one tab. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. Bye.